God is our hope. This is verse 50. Therefore, I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will sing praises of your name. He gives his king great victories. He shows unfailing kindness to his anointed, to David and his descendants forever. What's key with this part right here is despite all that David had been through, he wasn't bitter. And it would have been very easy for him to be bitter. If you remember the Ark of David, a lot of amazing, awesome things happened. He kept seeing victory after victory, and then he started slipping and started making some mistakes. He started having this tug of war with God. In one chapter, it's all this story about Mephibosheth and this amazing thing he does for God. In the next chapter, he sees Bathsheba and makes this horrible error. And because of that error, he pays this huge price for it, a consequence. And the whole, the whole part here of his life is if we're inputting good, if we're inputting the things that God has told us to input, the outcomes are blessings. But when we input a different input, we can no longer control the outcome that happens. It says it like this in Proverbs 6:27. Can a man scoop fire into his lap without his clothes being burned? Can a man walk on hot coals without his feet being scorched? Such a great proverb. And the concept that happens to David is he slips, and then the consequences are incredibly bad. Four of his children die. An innocent child in Bathsheba is dying. Amnon, his son, assaults the half-sister, and the brother of that half-sister in revenge kills him. His son Absalom tries to take the whole kingdom from him, and Joab kills him. His son Adoniah is killed by his own brother. All of these disastrous consequences, when he slipped, in his eyes and his desire for God's plan in his life. Some of us are probably slipping. Is God still your hope? Because the God that I love and we serve sees this world differently than most others.